Today I'm going to show you how to draw a stem and leaf diagram. So in this example here we've got the weights of 12 people. First thing you need to do is draw a vertical line on the left hand side of your page. And we need to start off with the lowest weight. So just scan through the data, our lowest weight seems to be 51 kilograms. So to record 51 we put a 5 on the left hand side of the line and we put the 1 on the right hand side. Basically this first row is going to be acting as all the numbers in the 50s. So our next weight is 58. So all we need to do is drop the 8 on the right hand side there. So that would be 58. So I think we've done our numbers in the 50s. So now we're just looking for the people in the 60s now. So on our next line, underneath, we put a 6. So this rows for all the people's weights in the 60s. So our smallest one in our 60s looks, to, looks like 62. So we just drop the 2 there. Our next biggest one is 64. So we just drop the 4 there. Our next one is 65. So we put a 5 here. And we've got one final one which is 66. So we drop the 6 here. So that's all the 60s done. So we're into our 70s now. So if we put a 7 on the left hand side of the line. So our next biggest one is 70. So we just drop the 0 there. Then we've got 71. Then we've got 72 kilograms. We have another one which is 72, so we need to put another 2 here. And we've got one final one in the 70s, 73. So we've only got one weight left, which is 81. So the final thing to do with our stem and leaf diagram is to add a key. This just explains what these values mean in the table. So the best thing to do is just pick out the first number in the table, which is 51. So 5, line 1, what that means, it means 51 kilograms. Thanks for watching.